Okay, so uh, welcome to my video on my Boss Slow Gear clone. Um, I'm going to just play a little bit of guitar with it turned off and then I'm going to show you what it does. Um, I built this myself. It's not a perfect, perfect design, um, but I've done the best with it that I could. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, please go, up, go and fill out the uh, survey on it that I've posted in the comments on the video. Um, that would help me out a lot. So first of all here is um, just some, vi just some uh, sound from the amplifier of me playing the guitar with the effects pedal turned off. Okay, so now with the effects turned on, you'll hear a sort of volume swell of each note I play. So what I have here is a few controls. This is the sensitivity function. So this is kind of like a, a threshold for the gate. In the middle is a trim, which kind of adjusts the balance between wet and dry effect. These two kind of go hand in hand. Then finally the attack, which is how long the note takes to swell in. Now, it's pretty much a set up and go kind of pedal. You can't do too much with these. And um, from what I've read about the original uh, slow gear, the boss one, is that it's pretty much the same. Um, you find a sweet spot with the settings and that's, that's that. So if I demonstrate, I can play. Turn up the sensitivity a bit. You hear a bit more of the note. If I now, if I turn the sensitivity up, sensitivity up too high and the attack up too high, it can start to distort, as you'll hear from this. You're still getting the volume swell, but the tail of the note is, uh, <clears throat> as I say, distorted. So, if I just back off the attack a little bit... So you see it starts to become a bit cleaner. Now, very slight adjustment to the settings. See I've turned the trim down too much there so I can't quite hear this, the uh, swell effect. So if I turn that up a bit. Now, I'll just turn the sensitivity up full clockwise, let's see what happened there. Okay, 
so I've almost found that sweet stop spot where I've got a good volume swell, but I'm not getting much distortion. <laughs> And as you can see, it's all down to very slight. Very slight changes in the controls can make a huge difference to the quality of the sound. Um, that's pretty much set up. Another thing to remember with this is, well, firstly, a lot of people tend to use it with a delay, so it kind of backs up the sound and thickens it up a bit. Um, the classic slow gear sound is usually in line with a delay pedal. This is just the volume swell on its own. Also, another thing to remember is that you need to play kind of staccato in order to get a sound. So if I play single notes like that, I get the volume swell. If I, for example, trem pick, it doesn't give the sensitivity or threshold enough time to really let the note swell. It just lets the full sound through. So if I play trem picking properly, you get a slight effect on there, um, but it's not very pleasant. So that's pretty much demonstration of my pedal. Um, as I say, please go and fill out the questionnaire. Um, it's part of a, a project for me that I need doing. Um, so if you can answer those questions to the best of your ability, that would be uh, great. Thanks a lot for listening.